Walleye Creek in Sydney's inner southwest had a problem common to a lot of our waterways. Dams and weirs built after European settlement created barriers that were almost impossible for fish to pass. The Henderson Street Weir on the edge of Torella Reserve divided the salt to brackish water from the fresh upstream. Many native fish needed to navigate between the salt and the fresh to feed and breed, but only the most determined could pass the weir and only on a king tide. All that changed in early 2009 when a fishway, more poetically a fish ladder, was built through the weir. The fish ladder allows even quite large fish to move upstream at high tide through a series of deep pools and shallow rises. With a 1.8 metre tide, these sea mullet can swim straight through the first three pools before they have to go up any steps, but they proceed very cautiously because this is a strange, unknown space. Now they have to begin rising, pushing up over the steps. A bigger school of mullet enter the ladder. Most of these fish appear to have fungal infections. Moving up into the fresh water may help cure this affliction. Getting up into the second last pool is harder work. Finally, they slip over and into the top pool. They wait for a while, forming up into a school. And then they're off and into the fresh water. The walleye fish ladder is just one element of a wider community and government effort to clean up the Cooks River catchment and restore its ecosystems. This creekside native plant restoration along Walleye Creek 
and this creek bank restoration and stormwater retention pond on Bardwell Creek, a tributary of Walleye, are other recent initiatives.